Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, it looks like the president of Kenya, President William Samoy Ruto, become hungry to the Kenyans after uh, looking for jobs uh, abroad, but uh, Kenyans are not letting some of them refusing to apply for jobs. Uh, president of Kenya said that uh, if I look for jobs abroad and you refuse to apply, how do you want me to help you? So he has no way he can help Kenyans because already the president said uh, he has searched for job in abroad and uh, Kenyans are refusing to apply. So why the Kenyans have refused to apply for jobs abroad? Uh, we have seen many of our young men and women learning away from this continent to seek jobs in your blood, uh, to seek a green pasture in uh, other continent. But now it looks the people of Africa from Kenya are refusing this opportunity. Why? That is a big question. You know, uh, I think the people of Africa, uh, they have changed their mind. Now they want... Uh, jobs here in the continent of Africa and I was said this because you know if uh, we the people of Africa we had value to our resources here in the continent of Africa we can create more jobs and uh, you can uh, you can solve many challenges and in many videos I was saying and how this can help to bring peace, how can feed families. Uh, and these jobs, uh, many of these jobs are to go and work to the farms abroad. You know, uh, Africans want investments. And that's what I think the Kenyans, uh, especially youth, want. Because we have a lot of opportunities here in the continent of Africa. If you look at this continent of all resources, it is not good to see that uh, the same people who are supposed to produce enough food to add value to uh, these uh, products or these uh, crops are the same people who are supposed to go out there and work to the farms of others. I think uh, this is the main reason from me, that's according to me, that now they, they, they have seen that this will not pay and this is not uh, good for them. But all in all, uh, they have many reasons, maybe uh, the conditions and environment, it looks uh, different. Uh, you know, it is very easy for maybe Kenyans to go to work in Tanzania, to go to work in Uganda and in Rwanda, because the cultures uh, look the same. But for Africans to go abroad, it is difficult. Even though you are getting jobs, you are getting money, but some of them think maybe they will not enjoy because the culture of the people in your blood are totally different with the culture uh, with the people in Africa. So maybe that's why. Uh, that is according to me. But all in all, uh, the Kenyans are refusing to apply jobs in abroad. Uh, the job that the president uh, seek uh, and searched for them and the job is there, but people are not led to become farm workers in your blood. That is the, the, the real issues. So, and I was said this uh, many times that, you know, with the people of Africa, we can create jobs here. Uh, if, for instance, uh, the people from abroad want food, uh, want uh, cheap labor from Africa to, to go to work to their farms. Why don't Africa uh, produce or come with the idea of investing in food production and adding values and at the end of the day they can supply food to those who have shortage of labors instead of exporting cheap labors. That is my idea and of course I know we have different opinion on this but uh, my idea is that uh, in, uh, instead of 
uh, sending these young people and the African people to work to the farms or to work in, in abroad uh, to the jobs that can be created here. Why don't we, the people of Africa, come together, uh, give loans to these young people and the African people who have capacity? Of course, we have many people who are so professional that can create jobs here in the continent of Africa. Uh, we have resources. Africa has water, Africa has rain, Africa has sun, Africa has uh, grasses for river stock keeping. Africa has all potentials that you, as a human, you need to survive. So I think it is better for the people of Africa to think how we can create jobs here in the continent of Africa. Because, you know, if you create jobs at your home country, you create, uh, this job is, must, it will be sustainable because uh, if you become tired, our young brothers or other people will come and be hired. You can create the chain of employment opportunities. For instance, if you invest in industries, uh, you are going to create jobs in drivers, you are going to create the job, jobs uh, to the food suppliers, you are going to create jobs uh, to the uh, technicians, and all these, instead of exporting these what you call cheap labors. So I think that was my opinion on that. But all in all, you can share whatever you you want to share with us your opinion uh, why these uh, people as are rejected or refused according to the president to apply for jobs abroad and many people have said many things and some of them went far but they cannot refer what they have said but all in all they are just challenging this that this is not good for us let us create jobs here in the continent of Africa, let us create jobs at our homeland because this can hire more people than taking uh, those uh, few to abroad. Yes, uh, that is according to uh, some people, but uh, all these are just opinion. I'm saying that we are here to seek solutions for African problems, we share thoughts, ideas, and that's what we're trying to do. We are not challenging anyone, but we are just uh, sharing our views on matters, different matters, on African issues, African stories. Maybe we are making wrong mistakes, but let us collect us on the comment section that uh, this is not good, this is good. Let us do this and let us move in this direction. All in all, what we wish is we all the people uh, to have a good life, to acquire development as we desire and to achieve our agendas. With those few updates from our mother continent Africa concerning to those who has refused to apply for jobs abroad, let us say thank you for your time. See you next time. Thank you.